Hello, guys, and welcome here, and welcome to another reaction video. And today, we'll be reacting to nukes. What should I say? So, nukes. A new video has finally came out. A new video has finally came out. A brand new video. And you know what? The first thing it gives me when as soon as I pop up this video, a fucking ad. That's what it gives me. Because why not? He gives me an ad. You've made your choice. Tunnel vision. vision. This next video was sent in to popular Japanese ghost hunting team. Oh, fuck no. By a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often spent his free time exploring well-known ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. What's so bad about that? Yeah, you heard a noise. And I, I wouldn't want to go down there. That place is disgusting. The hell? Holy <laughs> shit! Did you see it? Yeah, After I saw the man it. Here's a creepy, unexplained voice coming from right behind him. He quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. Absolutely Jesus, terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. This horrifying video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. So the clip store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? Let me know. I found that was the Japanese Grim Reaper. The Viaduct Tavern. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations recently investigated the notoriously haunted Viaduct Tavern in London. The Viaduct has been around for hundreds of years and was built just a few yards away from the site of the infamous Old Newgate Prison, where thousands of criminals were executed. The tavern's third floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. With such a long and dark history, it's no wonder that over the years, landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Oh, I remember this one. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor, where most of the supernatural activity has been witnessed. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange sounds coming from the floor right above their heads. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you, Gromitz. It's... <laughs> It's Gwamit, I can hear man. you walking. I can hear you walking, my Gwamets. I think there's a few footsteps <laughs> on the floor above us. Why does he sound like Wallace? My God. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear <laughs> footsteps above me on the floorboards. I Here need is some the cheese, audio taken from Static Cam Five, which is located up on the full floor. 
The creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically passed away there long ago. Jeff, Phil, and Mark head up to the fourth floor to do a spirit box session. And what happens next is downright creepy. If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers the old newspapers and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. Yeah, no, they'll give me an ad. That's what they give me. A fucking ad. And away we go. That's what they give me. A fucking That's all I need mother from you. shit it's your fucking surname. ad. So if I hold this out. Guys. Yeah. 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 Oh. Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? While asking questions, Jeff captures a dark figure quickly moving in front of a window. What the hell? Not once, but twice. Jeff immediately alerts the team of what he's captured, but they can't find any explanation for the bizarre encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange disembodied voices. And then this happens. There you go. That's what I was hearing downstairs. Okay, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Jesus. Hey there, there was someone stood by me. My God, Jesus Christ! Someone stood by me. Okay, and they just pushed me. Someone stood by by me then. Oh, that is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. Mark nearly jumps out of his skin as he sees someone standing right next to him, but when they look, there's no one there. However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, they realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. Now, it can only be seen for a split second when slowing down the footage, but as Mark spins around, the unexplained face of someone can be seen standing right next to him. That could be so the could guy be right next to Kate, that could be the, the guy lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the tavern now stands? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Encanto. Encanto. Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall Encanto. nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Where do you have to go to Encanto? Idol has been told that the waterfall is haunted by an environmental spirit known as an Encanto. Oh. A mythical being That's right. that has the ability to appear in human form. Idol is completely alone as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall with nothing but a camera. The sun is setting fast, and with very little daylight left, Idol captures something truly chilling.
Why you go towards it? Hello? 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 It would be so scary if he just popped up right behind him. A mysterious figure appears to be watching Idol as he's exploring and recording footage of the waterfall. The person then just walks away, disappearing into thin air. Now, there is nowhere for this figure to have disappeared to, as there is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. Idol is baffled and confused by what he just saw and can't find anywhere that the mysterious being could have went. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. So could this be the Encanto that is said to appear at the waterfall? Or something else? Tell me what you think. A cry for help. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. Jesus. The hell? Lights suddenly begin to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. But the door won't open. As she slams on the doorway, crying out for help, an ominous dark shape can be seen slowly moving towards her. One dark edge reaching out, almost like an arm ready to grab her. That's when someone, presumably her brother, comes to her rescue and opens the door for her to escape. Now, without a source, we'll probably never know what happened here. So, I ask you, is it real? Or is, is it, it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. decide. You can tell what is real. This Dex, fucking ad. That body we just found. When I saw it, it felt like off the rails. Stephen Kerner is out on a drive through the countryside of Minnesota when he spots something very odd. Ah. Uh, oh boy. What the? Uh... Well, that ain't good. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. A small empty train car with an empty caboose slowly moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. Stephen is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. But after posting his bizarre encounter on TikTok, someone spots something that Steven didn't see. Not a bad, but I mean, yeah, okay. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing, right here. What the f is that? Viewers are freaked out when they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging out of the back of the train. Many believe the tiny locomotive to be a ghost train. And some believe that the train might be haunted by a spirit. And others just think it's a very odd occurrence paired with pareidolia. But 
What do you think this is? Let me know down in the comments. A rough ride. Yes. Yeah, Tiktok user crazy. Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain it's bike after fun. work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken many times before. But this time, things take a terrifying turn. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. What the fuck? Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. When slowed down and paused, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. A very disturbing face. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok believe that he captured the infamous weeping woman, La Llorona, a vengeful spirit of Mexican lore that mourns the loss of her children. But what do you think this is? Pilot, Let me yeah. know. Exploration gone wrong. Two friends decide to explore an abandoned industrial park at an undisclosed location in China. The site has been abandoned for over three years and most of the entrances have been locked shut to prevent intruders and squatters. But this doesn't stop the two explorers as they manage to find a way inside. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. They start to explore the construction floor by floor. That's when they spot something absolutely unnerving. What the f What the f did you see it? Yeah, that's what Someone appears to be sitting on a chair inside one of the empty offices. The cameraman calls out to his friend and they quickly turn back and check out the room. What the f But there's no one there. What the f So did they accidentally capture a paranormal event? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? No, it's you too good to be real. Unwanted guest. In this next creepy video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. Meet Litter Robot, the revolutionary self-cleaning litter box that eliminates the chore of scooping. How's it going? Oh my god. What, what seems to be the problem? I, I left for a while to go shopping, and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke it. The homeowner says the house should be empty, but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their way into the house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Police! If anyone's here, make yourself known. One of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom, and this is when things start to get weird. Yeah, I don't see nothing weird. Anyone inside? A loud bang can be heard, and at the same time, strange interference comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs, 
and his body cam starts to experience strange video glitches. What happens next is downright chilling. Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. I have a feeling something's gonna jump scam me by showing stuff on the image and the camera. Yeah, it just goes shows nothing really scary about that. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. Now, understandably, this police officer is done with this house. Two doors open on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. This footage was later released as the officer claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this Airbnb haunted? Let me know down in the comments. An odd intruder. A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve Jamaica. something from her car, hey. but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. As the woman exits her house and walks towards her car, we can see some strange translucent shape charge out of the woods near her house and run right inside the front door. Now whatever this is does not seem to be any kind of compression glitch. The woman in the video is perfectly clear, and also the figure approaches the light and still remains an odd indistinguishable mist. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Oh, yeah, I'll take one of your specials, my man. There you go, princess. Mm. We were there when you explored questionable street meat. Oh. Maybe read the reviews next time? We were there for that, and we're here for... Jerry. After three years of living a happy, peaceful life in their apartment in the United Arab Emirates, Zark, his wife, and son suddenly begin to experience... Terrifying, unexplained activity. Let me just check. Yeah, I see nothing going on here. Nothing wrong, yeah. Nothing wrong at all. 
I'd say it's going on in any way possible. Could you please drop? Besides hearing knocking, banging, and scratching, the family has a truly bizarre scare when one day they inexplicably find maggots all over their apartment. Zark explains that he's a skeptic, but that he's become increasingly more alarmed by his son's unusual behavior. The young boy claims he sees someone named, quote, Jerry, and that Jerry isn't always friendly. Zark and his wife don't believe the boy at first, but when one day he complains about Jerry again, they decide to check their CCTV camera and are shocked by what they find. Needless to say, Zark and his wife now believe that Jerry might be something real after all. And whatever this presence is, it seems to become increasingly more aggressive. Yeah, it's going to be aggressive. Probably, yeah. पूरा सामान गिरा हुआ है। या Objects around the house are moved and thrown, but nothing compares to what happens on another night while the family is fast asleep in bed. Zark is suddenly woken up by the unexplained sound of running water. Yeah, we get it. It's cold. But I miss the fucking ad. This one I miss. 
I could just tell. When anyone is lying. Yeah. Zark hears the sound of running water and discovers that both the faucet in the kitchen and the bathroom have mysteriously turned on by themselves. Zark then hears loud banging and the sound of someone running. He then captures a strange, small, smoke-like figure moving Zelda. right in front of him. Yeah, so that. Zark is freaked out by what he has just experienced, so he checks his CCTV footage to see if anything else was captured that night. When he rewinds his footage back to just before the running water woke him, he is shocked by what his CCTV captured. the hell? A tall, translucent figure can be seen walking right beside a scooter that seems to move across the floor. Zark is now convinced that his apartment is haunted by something that he can't explain. Could this presence be what his son calls Jerry? Let me know what you think. That Jay was Tom. You can follow Zark's <laughs> continuing paranormal story over on the YouTube channel, Zark Scary Haunting. Thanks so much for watching. I'm still trying to get that upload schedule back on track. So please hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Then there's Instagram, uh, Twitter, and that's enough. Hopefully I'll see you back here next time for another video. <laughs> In the love That was a good video. I took up let's say like thirty me three minutes on, so it was pretty good. That much scares us for like the first one. Mostly right on the creep fat there by name. I think it was probably one of his Middle average videos. Anyway, this is what we're saying off. Remember, so nukes.